Hi everyone, this is Brian with my LEGO Mindstone. Here uh, I have another LEGO creation uh, to share with you all. What you're seeing right now is just the Java code behind uh, behind the screen. Uh, I program uh, the NXT this time uh, based on Java. How you can uh, program the NXT in Java, you can go to uh, legos.com. It um, That website provides you with a uh, with a newer firmware than the current um, firmware that's on the NXT. It's more flexible and uh, it's more powerful in terms of um, programming and logics. So yeah, um, it's very good to try it out and you can learn another language. So uh, let's get back to the Lego creation that I, I uh, built this time. So this is the platform or this is system that I created. I built this platform on a modular design which means um, I built each each uh, component separately and then put them all together into a whole functional system and uh, lastly I did the programming to control all the all the motors and all the sensors uh, in order to perform a proper function so basically the first component of the system is here here is a pneumatic switch connected to a motor the motor can con uh, can control the switch uh, with a on and off or left and right and middle position so if you look at this as a switch so it's left, middle, and right. So the pneumatic actuators can be um, controlled that way, uh, electronically. So basically, and uh, another component here is the pump. You can see this uh, long tubing is like uh, is a pump, uh, similar to the theory of a bike pump. It just um, the motor will drive it up and down. Up, I mean, um, forward and backward in order to pump air into a tank. That um that I made with a drug bottle. So uh, as you can see, this is um it's pretty hard to see. This round object is the tank I made out of the drug bottle. It's not a Lego stuff, but I uh because the Lego tank is way too expensive. It's like thirty bucks per one. So I just simply made it myself. So uh, if you see all the tubing, those are uh, air tubing. Uh, for a pneumatic uh, actuator to work, you need the tubings in there. So these two are the actuator. These two. And these two are the button controlling the actuator, and um, this the last component here is the is the uh, conveyor with the light sensor in here that detects an object when uh, the object enters the the conveyor enters the part. Uh, it's needed because I need to know uh, once it enters here how many revolution the 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 motor has to drive until a conveyor reach uh, this actuating point and this actuating point. Uh, once I, I turn on the system, it's pretty easy to um, it's pretty easy to visualize. Right now, you may be a little bit confused, but uh, I will turn on the system and do a little demo. So, as you can see, this system, um, I mean, uh, this component here is basically just a pump. A motor drives the the pump uh, forward and backward in order to pump air into the tank, and the tank stores the pressure for the pneumatic uh, actuator to use. And then, um, as you can see here, the conveyors are running continually, and the light for the photo sensors are not on yet. But if I press any either of th these buttons, the sensor will be on. And then I put something in there, you will see the magic happening. So basically, um, the reason why I want to talk so much before I, I do that is because I want the pump to to fill to fill the air into the tank first because the tank starts from zero pressure and then I want to wait a little bit until the tanks get a little bit high pressure so the actuator will actually work um, okay now I think we're almost ready and uh, let me press uh, simply press this button this button will drive this actuator so I press it and you see the light and then I put something on there as you can see the light detects the object and then it stops the conveyor and then the switch start happening and then it's um, basically the motor or the conveyor drives drive the object to the proper location and then the actuator will push the, the object out of the way so now this time I press this button and then you can see same thing happen so the object will be carried to a proper location here and then you can see another actuator go out and push the object into the bin here so you you may ask, the the actuator does not retract back to the original position. What if I press 
this button again, will it still work? Yes, it will. I did a little bit uh, trick to the programming to control the switch on and off. So I press it, uh, this button again, and I put the object on here. It will retract before the object gets to, to this position. So this object starts flowing into the, the next position, and then it will still work. So right now, let me introduce the switch. This is a switch uh, that I'm talking about. So this switch controls uh, the air going into either this cylinder, the this cylinder, or this cylinder. So um, without this switch controlled by a motor, you you will not be able to control which actuator to activate. But um, this switch is small and handy. The design is very good. And later I may think about um, exposing the design of this switch. And uh, so far, this is a function, and I'll demonstrate again, just uh, once again, how it works. That's it. This is a little platform that I, I just made. Thank you guys for watching.